across Oahu, reactions to the rising price tag mixed. KITV4's Catherine Cruz reached out to rail proponents and opponents to see if a $6 billion train would shake their positions. The first mile of the route is taking shape, and now the news that the price tag may soar. Critics aren't surprised. They say they warned about this from day one. The taxpayers are going to pay for it either in the form of property tax increases or uh, uh, increases in the GE tax. Um, but one way or another, the taxpayer is going to have to fund it because the federal government does not fund cost overruns. Rail supporters are gulping hard. Originally, I was for it. And now, I have some deep reservations. Brad Kahn has his own ideas about how to spread the pain of any added costs. I would be in favor of the tourists who come in, Japanese, German, American, Canadian, Australian, pay some sort of tax that goes to the infrastructure for the people of Honolulu and Hawaii. Another Honolulu resident raved about rail in Oregon and other cities across the country. Chicago, um, San Francisco, New York. I, oh, yeah, I love, I love the rail. And wants very much for it to work here. Of course, I mind the cost. I think everyone minds the cost. No one wants to have to pay too much money. But if you're going to benefit for something in society, you're going to have to pay for it. And this couple moved back six months ago after living abroad for decades. It's kind of a shock to hear that the rail system has taken so long. The cost of the rail is an issue, and so I'm not sure how to pay for that. I do like the idea of having a rail, though. We've traveled the world. I've been around uh, lots of subway systems, and it's, it's actually freeing. Uh, to be able to, to catch, in, catch a subway. Cliff Slater says at this stage, it's not too late for the city to rethink the project and still provide a way to move people in and out of town. The safest thing to do from a cost standpoint would be to, to convert this to a, an elevated highway, um, have none of the operating losses, and uh, much simpler, to, and it would take care of some traffic congestion. Now, Slater predicts the price tag will skyrocket the closer the rail work gets to the urban core. So will that $5 billion train be a $6 billion train? Rail just hasn't been about just improving traffic congestion. It's about redevelopment and increasing the tax base, too. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.